Bunbury brings hip alternative artists to the Queen City, and back in the 60s and 70s, it was the Ludlow Garage that introduced Cincinnati to the hot new artists, and now it's going back to its roots. After years as a bar and a restaurant, it will become a live music venue again. Local 12's Anjanette Levy talked with the owner about the plans and what the founder of the original Ludlow Garage thinks about it. For seven years, Scott Crawford has served up drinks and food at Olive's in the Ludlow Garage. But Sunday, Olive's will close, and Crawford says he'll take the space back to its roots as a venue for live music. This is a place you can come, sit, have dinner, have a waitress, listen to music. It could be all genres, blues, bluegrass, rock, country. We we'll even have comedians sometimes. In the early 70s, the Allman Brothers recorded the album live at the Ludlow Garage here. Up-and-coming acts like Grand Funk Railroad, Alice Cooper, and Santana, along with established acts like B.B. King, also performed. It was unique to say the very least. I mean, it was a very exciting time. The Ludlow Garage was Jim Tarbell's creation. For two and a half years, he brought bands to Cincinnati. It's a period of time he calls powerful, but he says the music industry has changed. To do that today, um, uh, on a, menu, a venue that size, to have n names like that, not, not likely. That doesn't mean that you can't do a really good club with a lot of music. From where you come down, this will be just strictly a private area. Scott Crawford says the basement of his building will be redesigned for a stage. The upstairs will be remodeled for a new restaurant. He has big hopes for his life at the Ludlow Garage. I think it's a real distinct possibility we'll have national acts in here. And back out live, you're looking at a plaque that is on the sidewalk in front of Olive's restaurant, which is Ludlow Garage. It has all of the names of all of the artists who performed here decades ago. And Scott Crawford says he hopes to add more names to that list. He wants to have some big national acts in here and big names, including people like James Taylor. Could you imagine that? That would be fantastic. He plans to reopen in November. Reporting live from Clifton, Anjanette Levy, Local 12 News. Rob? Anjanette, I remember going to the Ludlow Garage, but I forgot that Jim Tarbell was the power behind that. He's done so many groundbreaking things in this city. He is amazing. He is Mr. Cincinnati. I think he deserves that title, and I think people have called him that even before. But he's just an amazing guy, and to think that he was on the ground floor of something so big back then it's just really fantastic. Oh, great story. I really enjoyed uh, reliving my youth. All of us will close on Sunday. All of the items in the restaurant will be sold at auction. One of my favorite things Jim does is when he dresses up as peanut Jim, yes. you know, and for, walks the, the for the opening day parade. I love that. <laughs>